It's time to hit the water on this episode of 5N Cull with James Collier. From fishing to tackle and tips along the way, 5N Cull will help prepare you for an upcoming trip on the water. 5N Cull is brought to you by Mingi Beef Jerky, Reyes Hermanos, River City's Builders, Steve Logan Construction, Border Sporting Goods, T&T Outdoors, Blue Halo Boutique, El Colonial, Treasured Antiques Consignment, Stealth Pharmacy, and M&M Storage. Hey guys, welcome to Season 2 of Five and Cole, out here on Cave Run and the Renegade Stop Number 2 with Matthew Tomalonis. We hooked up to uh, go out and fish the tournament. Plenty of sunshine on this day. We got up to 85. Water temps, 58 to 61 as we got through later on the day, but uh, had plenty of wind uh, to get us around. So uh, the goal, three fish uh, was all you're allowed in this tournament, not five, uh, but uh, we had some early fish. We caught three quick unders, uh, had our three limit uh, early in the morning, and uh, then we were able to fish throughout the day. Matthew there had one that uh, popped off. Here was one that uh, hooked up. Crankbait bite was on, and uh, we were catching them early in the morning. And it's crazy to think you, you're you fishing for three fish under 13 inches so that you can get that uh, that early limit in the box and then go uh, go searching for those big bites. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, there was our, uh, our second fish, I think, that we dropped in. Um, here I'm hooked up with one. Uh, we pulled up on a brush pile and I pulled up with a uh, fish off of a Ned rig, about uh, 12 foot of water. And I don't think that one, I think that one actually was a little bit less than that, so we kicked that one out. Here's Matthew, he had a good one. We pulled up on this bank and I said, man, this looks like we should get bit. And immediately, bam, he got drilled. Uh, a nice solid uh, two and a half, three pound largemouth here that just choked it. I'm hooked up here uh, uh, with another fish. Uh, again, we got back up on the flats and, uh, and ran into some nice fish here. Uh, got to get on the, on the crankbaits. Um, both of the baits that I were, and Matthew were both using, uh, we're using the red eye shad. He was using kind of the crawdad uh, chartreuse color. I was using the red eye shad in the uh, the red, a little bit of a purplish color, and they were just absolutely choking. Um, had a, had another one right here, a little keeper that uh, we were able to kick out here with a smaller guy. So a nice call. I think we called out our. I think we called actually all of our small fish except for our last one uh, that was um, right at a pound, and then uh, we had uh, two nice overs. Uh, we missed cashing a check in this tournament uh, by a few ounces. Uh, we did, we needed another over and uh, just, just run out of time. I think we had something figured out toward the end of the day. Uh, just could not get it in the boat. But uh, a great time and trying to figure some stuff out again. Fishing with Matthew was a pleasure. Uh, meeting him and his family and his dad over the last couple of years. And this young man right here, he's going places. Let me tell you, this, this kid, he's got it figured out. And, He's a heck of a fisherman, and uh, it was uh, it was fun to be out on the water with him and kind of watching his thought process. So uh, here I'm hooked up. This was our big fish of the day. Um, I had a, uh, a lipless crankbait again uh, that uh, he just kind of just loaded up. It, it they were choking it so much it really wasn't much of a uh, of a tough bite. It was just bam, it was there and it was on. So um, the good thing on this great hooks uh, on those red eye shads, Strike King. Uh, that fish got out of the water three times on I me. Mean, I was doing everything I could to get it down, but the loose rod and reel, I was able, you know, a good soft tip on those new cranking sticks. I'm throwing the uh, the 5XD cranking sticks. This is a nice call right there, as you can see. We just kicked out a fish about 13 ounces and stuck about a three pounder in the box behind it. So uh, that was uh, that was a nice call there uh, that we were able to get in the box for there. But uh, the new cranking sticks from Lou's, the the 5XD, uh, great for the the shallow water. The square bills, those type of crankbaits, maybe up to like a 200 series uh, bandit. And then the 6XD, good for the lipless. Um, I've actually upgraded one of mine to a 6XD. And then you've got, I think it's an 8XD that's really good for your long, uh, big baits, like your uh, your DD22s or the the uh, the bigger strike cream lures, the 5 and the 6XDs uh, that, you, uh, that you really want to go down to the hellbenders type of stuff. Uh, a, a nice big stick, big uh, heavy rod that uh, allows you to give that backbone. Here's another one. Uh, didn't help at all. So uh, we caught several fish throughout the day. Um, and uh, it was just trying to, again, get rid of the little fish and try to find the bigger bites. And 
During that last hour, we caught a ton of fish. Uh, Matthew got on one bank uh, toward the end of this uh, right here. This was, I think, his first of about five hookups in 10 minutes. And uh, we just was trying to get the little guys out of the way. He kicked that one off. He could tell it was a slot fish. Because, again, slot fish on cave run, 16 to uh, 13 to 16 inches. You can't keep them. So he saw that one was easily a slot fish and uh, just po tossed it back over in there. So uh, another slot uh, here that uh, just didn't help us whatsoever. So, uh, again, we, we had the pieces just trying to run around and try to figure some stuff out toward the end of the day. You see here Matthew's got another one. They were absolutely eating him up on this bank as we were coming in in the final 10 minutes of the tournament right before we check in and stuff, trying to find that one more solid bite. Uh, to get us to that over, but uh, unfortunately just could not find it and uh, to get us in to that money column. But either way, uh, a great day on the water. It was beautiful, 80, 85 degrees, breezy, uh, which made it feel comfortable. It wasn't really uh, anything difficult to deal with, but uh, well, we'll close out episode one of season two with one more cast and certainly enjoyed the time out on the water with Matthew today and hope you've enjoyed the first episode of season number two a five and call. We'll see you on the water. Hey guys, let's finish up the Renegade tournament out here on Cave Run Lake. Uh, Matthew Tullalone is not fish today. and uh, Free fish, uh, not too bad, but uh, we need one more big bite. But uh, a good day all together though, but uh, especially when the bites came, usually we started something, we started finding a little bit of stuff. Another hour, we might have had it figured out pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, the last 30 minutes had six fish. It's fishing though. But uh, a good day. Uh, pleasure fishing with you, my friend. Certainly, we're back on the water again. You guys, that'll do it for five and Cole. See you next time.